Okay, going to take a second look um, at a watch today. Um, this time we're looking at the Lumtech Super Combat B1. All right, a titanium model. Nice big looking watch, um, but nice and light. Uh, not overly heavy on the wrist. Big thing about Lumtech is the loom. Um, unfortunately, got nothing really I can show you on that one today because the quality of my camera. Um, but I can assure you, you know, the initial um, effects of the loom are quite outstanding. And even when it goes sort of later into the night, the watch is still readable um, well into the early hours of the morning in a, in a dark room. Good sapphire case, uh, nice and scratch resistant. Flipping the watch over, um, you can just about make out there in the camera quality the actual movement of the watch. All right, very decorative, very nice. Um, as you can see there, I've serial number number 86 out of the 1,000 sort of or so that they've got planned, depending on supply of movements. Comes with um, the sort of typical green and black NATO style straps that come with the uh, combat range. Okay, um, there's the one I showed you on the watch I've gone from earlier that I've borrowed to fit on the deep blue watch. Um, 24 millimeters in this case on the Super Combat compared to the 22 millimeters on the normal Combat B models. Overall, very nice watch. Um, I tend to keep this one more, believe it or not, as a, as a dressy type watch compared to the Deep Blue and the other combat model I've got. Um, I've got the B17, which is a, a very similar model in face design, albeit without the small sort of circular dial. It comes with the second hand and the date. Um, that's my more sort of day-to-day -day watch, and you can probably tell if I get a review up on that, there's a few little marks and dents and scratches on the uh, actual case itself. Overall, very nice watch and highly recommended.